embrace it. So that right there is meditation. That's called meditation. Some people can't even keep their mind quiet for that long. Uh, we just started this video off with. This is why it's important for us to reconnect back to nature. Because nature is tranquility. Nature is peace. Nature is happiness. Nature is turning that voice off in your head and being a part of the world, being connected to God, which is the reality. So I didn't actually intend to start off the video like that, but the power of nature is very, very strong in that particular moment. And I thought, you know, embrace it but um right now i'm uh i'm actually this is my last day without a car i haven't had a car for a little while so today's my last day without that so i'm walking to the bank right now got a 2.5 mile walk <sighs> nature man it, it literally pulls the bad energy off of you but um <clears throat> i got a 2.5 mile walk to the bank to pull out some money and you know some of you guys think 2.5 miles is far it's not far it's not far you just have to break that mold that's on your mind you know society makes us a lazy person naturally but don't forget our ancestors ran 80 miles in a day to escape slavery so, motherfucker, you could walk 2.5 miles. Our ancestors escaped. Slavery ran 80 miles. In a day, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. It was at least 40 miles in a day. But I'm pretty sure it was 80. I'm pretty sure it was 80. So, with that being said, you could walk 2 miles. You could walk 3 miles. Shoot. A couple of weeks ago... I walked, I literally walked 19.8 miles in a single day. A walk slash jog, 19.8 miles. <clears throat> it takes about, mm, like, I'd say about 25 minutes per mile, 20 minutes per mile. It took me about three and a half hours. And don't get me wrong, I was shot. I was shot at the end. But um, I still did it, though. Still did it though. Right? It's the power of the mind. It's not it's not the body. It's the power of the mind. You tell yourself you can do these things and you can do it. Best believe you can do it. You tell yourself you could walk X long, you could walk X long. You know, so yesterday I jogged to the bank basically, but today I'm walking because I don't want to get to the dealership all sweaty, so. You know, got my OMG, mo shout out o OMG Motor Works from uh, Long Island, New York. They took care of my car. Shout out to OMG Motor Works. And, uh, yeah, you know, we're just walking to the dealership. Weirdos being weird behind me. <laughs> Low frequency people being on a low frequency around me. Instead of focusing on themselves, focused on me. 
I'm human just like you. <clears throat> but yeah, we're just going. Um, yeah, so I got a new car today and I got approved yesterday. So it's been one heck of a journey. But now that I have a car, you know, I'll be able to, to leave this job that's paying me $150 a day. Now, I needed the money, like, at the time, so I had to accept it. But at this point, they're just straight up not respecting me, treating me like I'm not a person, like I'm not me. So I'll be leaving. I'll be leaving. I was there for about two weeks. I only work twice a day, <clears throat> you know, but I won't accept people treating me like I don't exist. I know my worth. So they don't want to give me any more money. Then I'm out of there. Disrespectfully. I want 450 a day. They don't want to give me 450 a day. They don't want to understand my worth and appreciate my worth. I'm out. I'm out. The lowest I'll take is 400 a day. Because I accepted their bottom barrel offer. You know what I'm saying? So. Straight up, man. I don't care. I'm not going to let people disrespect me. I'm not going to have people disrespect me. Straight up. Because so everyone wants to think that they're better than me. And I can't be better than anyone. And that's just how it goes. That's how my life has always gone. Everyone has to be better than me. You know? It's, it's, too many people are at a low vibration. So what they do is compete with other people. And it's like, you don't know you're competing until after it happens. But someone like me, I know when people obviously are competing with me because everyone competes with me, you know? Everyone, literally, everywhere I go, it's the same energy. So, don't compete with others, but appreciate others, man. I can't emphasize this enough. We are all in this together. We are all on this planet and we are all on this earth together. So appreciate everyone around you because they had to go through some shit to get to where they are. Just like how you had to go through some shit to be next to them. You know, don't put down anyone's life. Don't make excuses for anyone's life. Don't say, oh, you had it easy. No, everyone had to fight demons to get to where they are, you know. You know, my, my friends from college all, all made excuses for my life. That's why they didn't appreciate me. They said, oh, you had it easy because I had certain material things. It doesn't mean anything, man. But, you know, people want to make every excuse they can as to why they're a better person than you. Because they need to be in their head. That's why they're not. You know, that same competing what's keeping them in second place think about that you know if they weren't competing with me if they weren't belittling themselves which they are doing and giving me that power which they did you know you learn from the people that hate on you you learn from you learn from all the people that hate on you you know some people just meet you and look for your flaws And, you know, some people, they, they walk with the demons of the past. Instead of every day being a fresh day, like this, uh, in this apartment that I live at right now, you know, it's a shared bathroom. And this dude obviously has demons. He obviously has demons. And how I know that he has demons, treats the bathroom like trash. Doesn't close the toilet lid. Leaves like shavings, like he's not connected to his body. The demons have literally pulled him out of his body. The demons have pulled him out of his body. That's why he doesn't care for anything. You're a clean person, or you're, you're a sane person. You're gonna clean the bathroom. This dude's leaving literally poop on the, poop stains on the floor, bro. Don't ask me how poop even gets on the floor. I, I could not answer that question for you. It's 
This dude's leaving poop stains <clears throat> on the floor, bro. Like, doesn't clean up after himself. Like, and that's a sh the problem. Like, people carry their demons with them everywhere they go. It's a habit. It's a habit. That dude's probably a horrible person. Probably done horrible things. He trapped in the past. Get out the past. Every day is a new day. Clean the damn bathroom. Clean up after yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You know what I'm saying? People get stuck in the past. That's the thing about life. You got to understand that every day is a new day. So you can't be walking around with luggage from yesterday. Start yourself fresh. Forgive and accept. Look in the mirror. This is me today. This is who I am today. No change in who you are today. Unless, you know, you go through like some plastic surgery, but that's for another video. That's another topic. You know, you don't have to touch upon that. But I will. I will. <laughs> well, I'm just chatting right now. I'm trying to give you guys some knowledge, some morning insight, some power, some inspiration. It's hot as heck out here. People think they own the road. It's hot because they got a nice car. Anyway, people live on this material realm, man. People live on this material realm. That's why they can't ascend, because they're so focused on the material things they own. God doesn't care about the material things. So when you're connected to God, you don't care about the material things either. Straight up. You care about the spirit spirit the s-p-i-r-i-t you don't care about the material things because the material things have no real value they're only material things you know? <laughs> how's it going <laughs> we're in georgia everyone's nice out here going on a little run that was me yesterday, going on my little run. <laughs> <clears throat> but the, uh, the annoying part about me is that most people are just a mirror, you know? Everything I do, they replicate. Hi, how's it going? Hi, how's it going? Hi, how you doing? Hi, how's it going? <laughs> You know, most people don't have the courage to break out of their shell when they see me. They're scared, so they watch me from inside of their body. They act like me, but they're not organically themselves. They're not authentically themselves. They're, you know, they're, they're being me. They're matching my energy. That's what people call it, matching energy. Don't match energy, be yourself. <clears throat> now, don't match people's energy. Be your own energy. Be your own source of energy. Your own source of light. Forget how that other person is vibrating. Vibrate how you vibrate naturally. And if you don't know how that is, it's because you, you don't, you're not yourself enough. You know? You'll never be yourself until you start being yourself. If that makes sense. You know? You're always going to be scared to talk to girls until you stop being scared to talk to girls. You know, it's, it's the energy, it's that exact moment. You decide who you are, you know? Time isn't real, energy is real. You know, energy is real. Every millisecond of your energy is real, not time, you know? You have to be above time, not in time, but above time. And let time just, you know, go. Like, let time go. Disconnect from the matrix and let time go. And just exist as a spirit on this earth. You know, time isn't, um, it's hard though. Time isn't, uh, time isn't money. Money isn't time. Energy is, uh, there's like, it's like a triangle. It's like time, energy, and money. And your energy is what's worth 
time, not the other way around. Okay, you got that? Business tips. I'm giving you guys business tips. It's the energy, you know? So when low, low vibrational people, when they try and compare you to other people, right? When they try to say, oh, you know, Sally next door, you know, only charges me two, you know, $30. Well, I'm not Sally. Sally doesn't have my energy, right? I am not Sally, so don't compare me to Sally because me and Sally are two completely different beings. So just keep that in mind. You know, when only low vibrational people think everyone is the same, but when you're a high vibrational person, you realize everyone is their own unique individual, special, unique universe. Each and every person is their own unique universe. And you can't go around judging other people based off of other people because that just makes you ignorant. You know, ignorant to actually learning about who and how that other person is. So you got to be your own person and you got to realize everyone else is their own person as well. Don't compare people. But I'll make another video about that. And I'm happy I was able to, you know, just chop it up with you guys, whoever's tuning in. Thank you. I appreciate you. I hope the Lord blesses you. The Lord has already blessed you, but I want him to bless you even more. Because you deserve it, you know. Out of everyone in this world, you vibing with me. So I love you for that. But, um, you know, guys, I need you to help me get out there in the world. You know, I'm making these videos, but I need you guys to, you know, interact. Uh, all I ask... All I ask, you know, making these videos, all I ask is for you guys to drop a like. And I said, just click like for me. And comment, you know, it helps me get out there. It helps people, other people to see me and to find me. So, <clears throat> you know, I would definitely appreciate if you guys could do that for me. You know, I'm making a lot more videos every single day, so... Like I said, I would appreciate it, guys, if you could help me to grow. And, you know, I'm not in this for the money. I'd be surprised if I if I get to that point where I can actually make, you know, some money off of YouTube. But it's not about the money. It's about putting my light out there. It's about spreading my energy. It's about showing the world that I exist. That's what it's about. So on that note, y'all. You know, I'm going to tune out to the next video, but I wish you the best on your day, on your journey. And, you know, I wish that you wish me well. So tune out or I'll catch you guys on the flip side. I guess that's going to be my saying. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Catch you guys on the flip side. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay, Take care and stay up. Peace out. Auntie.